Yo, what's good y'all? In today's video, I got the how to make a shift to sprint system with an animation, the updated version of that tutorial. And so if I made the original one, um, I want to say about, probably about a year ago. Yeah, I think it was like early 2023, I think. So, so I got the updated version. Um, it's a different, I will say, that it's a lot less code. And, so, and it's honestly extremely very simple. It's very simple, right? So let's go ahead and get straight into it. Okay, so first things first, we're going to head on over to starter player we don't even need any remote events so we don't even got to put anything inside of replicated storage so open up starter player right you're going to click the plus icon on starter player scripts we're going to insert a local script you're going to want to rename this script to sprint script in parentheses put local close parentheses i mean sorry not close parentheses local in parentheses then press enter then we're going to delete print hello world we're going to create two variables first will be we're going to get the user input service. So local UI, yes, is equal to game, get service, user input service, right? I hate how it does it now. Anyway, user input service. Then for our second variable, I'm going to get the local player. So I'm going to say local player is equal to game dot players dot local player, right? Then we're going to set up two functions. First will be for when you press the shift button. And then the second will be from when you take your finger off the shift button. So first we're going to say UIS that input began connect function and parentheses, in parentheses, put input comma processed Enter. you're going to say if input that user input type is equal to enum that user input type that keyboard and not process, which pretty much means the player is not typing in chat Enter. And then you're going to say if input dot key code is equal to enum dot key code here is where you would put your sprint keybind now for most games it's left shift but you know some games they do control and stuff so you know put that set that to whatever you want then press enter and then you're going to say player dot character dot humanoid dot walk speed is equal to then of course you would set whatever your um accelerated walk walking speed is or Whatever you want your kind of run speed to be, which yeah, that makes more sense. You set this uh the default from the default for Roblox is 16, so I would recommend anything more higher anything greater than 20, I should say. And then yeah, we're going to set up the vice versa function for when you let go of shift. So we're just gonna copy and paste, control C, control V, change input began to input ended. And then you literally leave all this the same. All you're changing is the walk speed. So you set this back to whatever your default walk speed is. Like I said, for Roblox, the default walk speed is 16. So I'm changing it back to that. But you can set that back to whatever, you know, your default walk speed is. Right. And just like that, we are done with the local scripts. This video is going to be probably two minutes more. So then I'm going to insert a server script into server script service. Boom. I'm going to rename the script to sprint. Oh, sorry. To sprint script in parentheses put server boom now on the server script all we're doing here is changing the animations local script this is our sprint now we're just changing the animations so or the default role block the animations so we're going to say game that players that player added connect function in parentheses put plr which is short for player then enter and they're going to say player dot character added connect function in parentheses put character enter you're then going to say player dot character dot animate or sorry, not animation, animate dot idle dot animation one dot animation. Oh, animation ID is equal to in quotation marks. You're going to need to type this for each one. You're going to want to say um, RBX asset ID colon two four slashes followed by whatever your oh, sorry, colon, not semicolon. Um, followed by whatever your animation ID is. So I, as you guys can see, I already have them here. So I'm just gonna copy and paste. You guys have to use your own animation ID. You can't use mine. So yeah, uh, you can just get animations from the toolbox. That's what I did. Just literally type like movement animations, running, walking animations, whatever, right? So then what we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we are going to um say, we're gonna just do control C, right? And then now I think about it, we actually don't need the character variable. I mean, leaving it won't really, cause any issues but you don't really need it then i'm just going to copy and paste this right so control v control v control v so first we change the idle by uh we change both idols so animation one and animation two that's all you got to change for there and then for this you're going to change idle to run and then you're going to change this to run anim and then change uh the id of course boom and then for this uh same thing this is walk, and then this is walk anim, right? And then uh, same thing with the ID. Boom, control C, control V, paste it in there, and then boom, now we are ready to go. So also just a note, um, 
if you guys want to change other other animation stuff all you have to do is open up your player find the animate script and then you see you guys see all of these uh values and stuff yeah you guys can change uh any any one of these and stuff you can change uh or more so you, yeah you want to reference the animation inside of it and then change the id but yeah you guys get it walk wave all that stuff so yeah you can change any one of those but yeah just to go ahead and test to make sure it works so as you guys as you guys can see clearly this is not the default roblox uh walking animation or it is good this is walking right so now if i hold shift watch you guys will see i i'm accelerating we can also uh click our humanoid and then go find walk speed you guys see when i hold shift 22 when i let sh let go of shift falls back to 16 so yeah that's how you make a shift to sprint system with a custom uh walking slash running animation and stuff hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did definitely leave a like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video thank you guys for watching if you want access to this you can get access by getting one one of the memberships in the description see you guys in the next video